The one thing you really notice on Twitter in recent times with the Peel Regional Police are all the guns that they're seizing in the community. You see a gun, it's a tweet, and then you sort of dig into it and you find out there's a lot more to it. And what that is, is a gun suppression effort that happened after the horrible incident on Darcel Avenue, which killed Jonathan Davis. Out of the Darcel incident came Project Siphon. Project Siphon was one of the biggest ever seizures of guns and money and drugs in Canadian history, and it was covered all over the world. He is, unfortunately, Joe. Uh, contemporarily speaking, we aren't really surprised when we find firearms, uh, illegal firearms, particularly when they're associated with uh, gun, or sorry, gang violence, illegal drug trafficking. We see them here in Peel, but across and throughout the GTA. And now when you say, how are we able to develop this case? Um, post Darcel, our police service and our chief made a commitment that violent crime was going to be a priority for our service. And that has continued to be a priority for our service. It's something that we've invested resources in and we continue to attack here in Peel. Obviously the, the numbers are down, but you've you got to be concerned about the future. This is not necessarily meaning the problem's over. Seeing some success, numbers are down. Um, but by no stretch of the imagination are we taking this as an absolute win. Really what this is, is an opportunity to continue work towards reducing gun and gang violence and do that in partnership with their communities and other people that are operating in that space. And the ideal is collectively, we are able to have a sustained impact. The message to the gangs and those that run around with guns is simple and clear. Peel police are on top of it. Now they're having great success in getting guns off the street. Your guns. If you're running around with a gun, you might as well turn it in now because the police are on their way and they'll take it from you anyway. With Jack Boland and Peel, Joe Warmington, Toronto Sun.